Hi, this is Brother Richard, and today we're continuing with our lesson, Prototokos Mystery. <clears throat> this will be part 268 in our series. We're continuing with the lesson titled, The Church Scattered, The Church Gathered, Part 2. <clears throat> we're talking about currently, the church <clears throat> is under judgment, brought about for disobedience during the era of the apostles. Scripture teaches in the coming judgment, that is the judgment that will be leveled upon humanity from the Lord, every vestige of organized religious system of today will be destroyed. Its leadership will suffer judgment in the spiritual place of the Lord, in other words, protective covering that the Lord has over <clears throat> the peaceful habitations of the earth, <clears throat> will be abandoned by the Holy Spirit. In other words, this land we live in, America, has been protected. It's under a protective covering. That's why, <clears throat> for the most part, people have the privilege of seeing other people suffer egregiously but not experiencing that privilege yes, yes. Uh, people don't know what it is basically even the homeless people don't really know what hunger is because there's always a place where you can go you can get something always. some substance a shelter or that in this coming judgment all that's going to be done away with along with every vestige of society because every vestige of society is under Luciferian influence. You see an example of that. Turn to Jeremiah 25, verse 30. <clears throat> Therefore prophesy thou against them all these words, <clears throat> and say unto them, the Lord shall roar from on high, and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon the habitation, his habitation. He shall give a shout <coughs> against all the inhabitants of the earth. So we see the background for this comes directly out of the throne of God against the entire world makeup. So somebody asking a question? Hello? No question. Oh, okay. I thought somebody was asking a question. Okay. So it's a judgment level against every aspect of life <coughs> on planet Earth. Now drop down to verse. We're going to read verses 36 to 38. <coughs> a voice of the cry of the shepherds and in howling of the principal of the flock. Mm. For the Lord has spoiled their pasture. <clears throat> it's talking about religious leadership. Organized religion is going to come under <clears throat> the judgment of the Lord. Should we understand that? Oh, hang on. Read the next verse and then I'll answer. Okay. And the peaceable habitations are cut down because of the fierce anger of the Lord. He hath forsaken his covert as the lion, for their land is desolate because of the fierceness of the oppressor and because of his fierce anger. So the question was, should we understand that from verse 37, the peaceable habitations coincide with the land of the shepherds? Yes. Okay. Yes. <coughs> what does covert mean? Uh, it's, in, uh, it's a layer where... It's like a secret place? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, a place where there's a, res a residence. Okay. That respect, what we find, everything that we took for granted here is going to be taken down. There is no place that will not be uh, desecrated. But, having said that, will there still be places which aren't as bad as others? Sure. Okay. Well, so, 
Yes, they So have. the extension of the question is, once this covering has been removed from the four corners of this land, will this land still be more peaceable than others is really where I'm going? No. Okay. No, because the, the world as a whole is going to be destroyed. The system as a whole is going to be taken down <coughs> and totally neutralized, not rendered non-functional. <coughs> And he's going to open the gates. You're talking about illegal immigration. Yeah. It is, the thing is going to be wide open to invasion. Right. And uh, people <clears throat> are, it talks about, um, seven, they're going to find that um, the enemy is going to come in and inhabit their houses. Yes. And take away their possessions. Mm -hmm. And everything is going to radically be destroyed or altered from the original design in which it was operating. Yeah. The judgment includes <clears throat> the release of evil entities that formerly were restricted to now be free to inflict and afflict the inhabitants of the earth. What part <clears throat> of the restraint of play in restricting those specific evil entities? Well, <clears throat> look at it this way. The restrainer that we understand doesn't come into being until after the gathering. The restrainer is the one that's going to be taken away. Okay. That's the, the glorified saint. This is just a gathering. This is the preparation for that saint that will be glorified. So would you say that the restraint as we understand it today, which is here right now, is holding back those same e uh, evil entities that you're No, because to? there's no restrainer. The elders haven't come in to being. That that hasn't happened yet. The restrainer Paul's talking about, he who let it not let taken mm -hmm. away, isn't here yet to be taken away. Okay. You have then. to be gathered first. Is yeah. this the first time this way those evil entities are released because they're evil. They're entities. They, they, that's what they're known for. So they obviously have done that about during their existence. But the Lord is, is you can do nothing outside the Lord anyway. So he's involved every time. But for the first time, he is directly, is he going through the, the head of the, of the evil ent entities to get them to do this? Or is he directly directing them intentionally themselves? himself to put <coughs> evil on the earth. Uh, no. The inference is that <coughs> these are beings that got corrupted, became evil during the Luciferian Empire. They got restricted, confined. Right. Just like the fallen right. and angelic beings and all the rest of them. All he's going to do is release them right. to go out and do what they do. They're their nature. Okay. Right. right. So it's very, very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, January 2024, when we pray, are we restraining? Yes. So then, the, so then the restrainer is in effect, is the point I'm trying no, to get No, he's not. Because he's going to restrain differently then than he is now. Okay. The evil there is going to be different okay. than what we have now. Okay. So the restrainer today is restraining this side of that reality. Okay, I get exactly. it. Exactly. I get it. Exactly. We don't have a concept of, of what, what that, the yeah. power of that restraint is going to be holding back <clears throat> because that evil isn't yet in vogue. Right. So in the same way that the dynamis that will be released into the hands of uh, the, 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 the saints mm -hmm. will be so powerful that miracles will happen. Sure. That restraint of that sign will be equally as powerful because of the same dynamis within that reality. Same. Yes. Yes. The, uh, the factors <clears throat> that set the restrainer and into the position of restraining are the factors that will take place at the time of the release of the Fourth Empire. Gotcha. <coughs> so the restrainer isn't put into vogue until the evil is put into vogue. Yes. So after the evil is invoked, for however predetermined, however long that is, right. then the restrainer is an initiated. Yes. A different yes. type of restraint. Yes. Is how we it has to, it. otherwise the evil would be allowed to just right. sweep across right. unrestricted. Okay. So, <coughs> you, you, so you could even say a more powerful restrainer. Is Most, the, definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. <clears throat> but let's go on. Who is? Mm hmm. Hello? Hello. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Ezekiel 7, verse 22, is what we're referring right. to here. Okay. 
Thank you, Lord. Amen. My face will I turn also from them, the people of his <clears throat> former protection, and they, the released evil, shall pollute my, my secret place, for the robber shall enter into it and defile it. Who is he referring to? Verse 21. I will give it into the hands of the strangers, non-humans, for prey, and to the wicked of the earth, those that dwell currently limited in the subterranean regions, the dark places of the earth, <clears throat> for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. It's going to run rampant. Who are the strangers? Aliens? Aliens. So the human wicked of the earth, by that time, have been wiped away with everybody else. Right? Sure, they're under judgment. Sure. So what you have here is a non human, the Dero, the. Uh, Serpent, lizard people, right. um, wicked, huh? Aliens. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the nations, the non. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> they're, they're native to, to this to this planet, but they're in the subterranean okay. region. Okay. Yeah. So, are the aliens considered a nation? Are they no. under a nation? No. What are they considered? They are the principalities, the oh. uh, mortals, the immortals that uh, uh, formally <coughs> were given. Authority over okay. the nation. That's what you're calling aliens. Yeah. Oh, in this particular context. In this particular right. context. Okay. Yeah. Um, members of the Fourth Empire. Yes. The Iron Man. Iron Man. Scripture teaches <clears throat> the Holy Spirit will be with the faithful and wise servants, giving them revelation to impart to those who are being fed. <clears throat> I want to take a look a little bit at what the faithful and wise servant is going to be doing and how he is going to be empowered. 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, verses 12 to 13. <clears throat> this is in the backdrop of organized religion being totally neutralized. What it has been teaching, what ha it has been basically allowed to impart as a reality, as a belief system to the people underneath it. That's gone, it's neutralized now. <clears throat> now we get to the basis of what is true revelation Verse 12, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. The Holy Spirit is a repository of all truth, of all what actually is, not what appears to be. Yeah. Is this being said because the proclamation by the heavenly counterparts has been made, or because the teachers are teaching the elders because of the Holy Spirit being now <coughs> given the the ministry okay through the teachers to develop right. from the beginning of Soros. those yes okay. well let's go on which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. Hmm. Not in the word. That, remember, we talked about the two wisdoms. Yes. There's a, what I call the mystery wisdom, which Paul talks about, and then there's the wisdom of the world. Solomon had worldly wisdom, <clears throat> in which he could comprehend the truth of how God functions in the world. Mm -hmm. But his wisdom couldn't take him beyond the world. Right into the hidden wisdom which Paul is speaking about here. Okay. Now man's wisdom, Paul says, <clears throat> is neutralized by the wisdom of the Spirit. Man's wisdom is what's taught by organized religion. Right. 
everything is from a human perspective. Right. It is neutralized by the mystery w wisdom, which gives you a higher comprehension in the true way in which God sees things, not the way man sees things. This is what Paul is saying. So, just to clarify, yeah. mm -hmm. at the time in which this is happening, mm -hmm. has the gospel been spoken from the heavens? Yes, this is after. Okay. He's telling us when the gospel this is spoken, is all of it. now you'll be able to understand okay. it in its okay. truth. <clears throat> He's uh, giving you an example. He talks about which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Right. What man's wisdom taught is comparing spiritual things to physical things, mm. because man's wisdom could not comprehend the spiritual in its entirety, in its natural state yes okay you've answered this before i want you to do it again so we're talking about different wisdom man's wisdom versus the holy spirit's wisdom so yes. now daniel has been considered a wise man yes and he is i guess compared to solomon yes but we also see that the antichrist <laughs> has been given wisdom mm -hmm. beyond his first his, his 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 self satan gave him wisdom so what it's all still worldly wisdom? It's worldly wisdom. Worldly wisdom. That's why the prophets basically couldn't be taken to heaven. They could have visions of heaven. Right. Couldn't be taken to heaven because they couldn't go. So so we should understand that the wisdom that you're referring to is reserved because you've told us. Has not been released. Exactly. Reserved for those for I'll give you an example of man's wisdom okay. which is taught by organized religion. Turn to first Timothy sixth chapter, verse five. We'll probably have to close here. Yes. This chapter? Six. Six chapter. Verse five. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, right. from such withdraw thyself. Amen. What's with prosperity gospel yes. is an example of this. When John talks about, I, I, I desire above all that you be in health and prosper as your soul prosperous. The first thing that they're talking about, that they think about Cadillac, a house. They're looking at <laughs> material and trying to define it from a spiritual <laughs> perspective. That's worldly, well, that's wisdom of men. Holy Spirit doesn't do that. Jesus talks about that in his ministry. He says the disciples are have years to hear. Nice to see. I'm talking about the true riches. <clears throat> uh, organized religion teaches this. Yes. Because they can't comprehend the mystery religion. When you speak something to them, they can't comprehend it in the way in which it was meant to be understood. So they're going to take it and it's going to be distorted and you're going to be told basically are oh, you super spiritual or you're you're not you're not comprehending it the way it should be comprehended or you're heretical or you're this and that's going to be done away with when the judgment takes Praise place. Praise the Lord is all I can say. <clears throat> In addition to your question, eternity, everything is consistently emphasized about being in unity, unison, no separation. So what he knows, you will know, what you know, I know. We all know equally because we are all connected. Here in this life, <clears throat> everything is radically different. Mm -hmm. People have the ability to keep things secret, hide things, and all the rest of it. Know things somebody else doesn't know because the way to get knowledge here is different than the way that you receive understanding in eternity. Right. There, there's no restrictions. There's no limitation. You will know what you want to know. For instance, if you want to know, <clears throat> if you want to see things the way he sees them, you'll know it. Immediately see it the way right. he sees it. If you want to know the whole extent of what he knows, you'll know it instantaneously because there's no limitation. There's no uh, uh, barriers to knowledge, understanding. 
Yes. Will the Father <coughs> have a private conversation with me at some point? There's no private. Okay. See, that, that, I want to know, that concept, yeah. That's why I'm asking. So mm -hmm. you tell me there's no private, okay? You know, concept doesn't exist because in the Godhead, <coughs> there is no separation. So there will be no, he's telling me the son that's reserved for me. It's, it's for everybody that's his son. Yes. Yeah. Because <coughs> unlike life here, there's no need to have a private conversation. 